But I'll tell you what I'm most proud of. What I'm most proud of is being a field organizer on this incredible team that we have working to elect the next President of the United States, Senator Kamala Harris. And I want to tell you all a little bit about why I'm here. As a child of two public school teachers, the first question at the dinner table every night for me was, what did you learn at school today? My parents taught me that my education always came first. Everyone always has that one teacher that made a profound impact on their life. For me, that teacher was my first grade teacher, my mother. And she's actually here with us in the crowd tonight. At the time, I didn't love that my mother worked at my elementary school or that she was my teacher because she always knew when I didn't do my homework and when I wasn't paying attention in class. But today, I'm grateful that my first grade teacher taught me to work hard. I'm grateful that my first grade teacher taught me to be creative and, and most of all, I'm grateful that my first grade teacher convinced me that not only was I special and someone believed in me, but she did that for every other student that came in her classroom for 20 years. And it was because my mother taught me, as my first grade teacher, to work hard and to challenge myself that when I went to high school, I joined the speech and debate team. And it was on the speech and debate team that I had the incredible, fortunate experience of meeting another public school teacher that impacted me, named Mr. Ginger. And there's been no greater experience in my life that has shaped who I am today than being on the debate team. I quickly fell in love with debating and researching, and with Mr. Ginger there to guide me every step of the way, I was inspired to not only continue debating in college, but also to set my sights on law school. And Mr. Ginger, like so many of our other public school teachers, and I'm sure so many of you have had, went above and beyond to help his students. He spent every single day, nearly every day, after school at debate practices for hours after school was over. He spent half of his weekends, his free time, helping us at debate tournaments, helping students succeed. And it was because of his hard work and dedication in, in the debate team that I was able to become passionate and interested in politics, and without that, I certainly wouldn't be standing here today. In my story, a story of being lifted up and shaped by the amazing public school educators that we have in this country, is a story that so many of us in this room today share. But the sad reality is that we as a country have underappreciated and undervalued our educators for far too long. <laughs> As a public school student in Nevada, I saw far too many teachers who had to work a second job or they had to leave the job they loved or the state that they loved to pay the bills and make ends meet. That simply isn't right. It's about time that we start speaking the truth about the public school system in this country. We need to speak the truth that our teachers, our public school teachers who dedicate their lives to our communities, to raising our children, to raising the next generation of leaders, shouldn't make $11,000 less than other professionals with the same exact education and the same experience as them. We need to speak the truth that our public school teachers on average should not be making $1,000 less today than they did 30 years ago. We need to speak the truth we need to speak the truth that our public school teachers should not have to work a second job to make ends meet. And we need to also speak the truth about common sense gun regulation in this country because no teacher should have to guard their classroom door. Which is why Senator Harris is proposing common sense gun regulation. Which is why Senator Harris is proposing common sense gun regulation is willing to use executive action in order to make sure that it happens. But it's not enough for all of us to just speak the truth on these issues. We also need to demand justice, which is why I'm proud to support Senator Kamala Harris for president. Because the senator is not only speaking the truth, but she's demanding justice for our teachers and justice for our students by proposing the largest federal investment in education ever. As president, Senator Harris would fully close the teacher pay gap. That would mean, on average, every teacher in Nevada would get a $15,000 raise in public schools. 
This isn't just about teacher salary. It's about showing those that dedicate their lives to our children and to the next generation of leaders the respect that they deserve. We all have a responsibility to join this fight. I join this fight and I'm working day and night to make sure that we win, but we need your help. So let's all take out our phones and let's text the number 70785, uh, the word team, and I'll wait while everyone does that. So if everyone please just take out their phones and text the word team, T-E-A-M, to the number 70785. <laughs> Second, we need all of you to sign up to join our team and help us win this fight. We'll have our, our wonderful staff of organizers carrying clipboards around uh, the venue tonight and also after um, the program. Um, please reach out to them and sign up so we can um, have you join this fight with us. Third, I've seen a, a lot of wonderful students that are getting ready to come back to school. Our campaign team is very dedicated to engaging students, which is why we have the ambitious goal of creating a Students for Kamala program at every high school and college across the state. So if you are a student, please do reach out to one of our team members of the clipboard and make sure we can sign up for that. Thank you all so much for coming and thank you for being a part of the fight.